Welcome back to Trials of Cold Steel. Should be video number 46 so far. So I'm standing right there with Gaius here. So last time, um, well, if I remember, mm. <laughs> yeah, nice guys. Um, if I remember, there's a we visit the uh, statue guardian and uh, came back, and there's an orbital truck accident, something like that. Because well then, of, yeah, well then, because of this doctor right over here wasn't really careful. <laughs> okay, <laughs> see you, doctor. I hope you're okay. So let's go to the. I want to buy some stuff. Um, I should have done this off screen before I start recording, but uh, at least you can see this. What the heck I'm doing? Um, oh yeah, exchange. Always do this one first. I didn't do some off-screen grinding. Oops, I wasn't prepared. But mostly I, I always do the off-screen grinding. Like uh, if I got my butt kicked by a boss or something, and then I don't know. Let's buy a weapon. Um, I haven't buy a weapon for a while. Minus speed and agility. Damn. Well, at least my attack is increased, though. Uh, I don't know what's my final party, though, but... 527. I do like Gaius, so... There you go, Gaius. You can have a weapon. There. And uh, I think it's better for me to buy, like, uh, armor, I guess, because... Uh, I'm getting my butt kicked. Uh, I can buy one for um, Emma and one for uh, huh, 41 for 51. I have a feeling I'm gonna save my gold. Actually, I forgot to buy something. <laughs> I want to buy more. Um, hold on. Uh, what the? Hold on. I'll buy two of these. And I'll buy more of these uh, flaky potatoes because potatoes are good, right? It's healthy. And I definitely want this one because I love using this. I should have just used this. I'm such an idiot. Can't be used in certain battles though, like bosses. Remember that game over when I was trying to run away with Usus and it's a 30% chance? Out of my way, vermin! Yeah, I should have used uh, this item, smoke grenade. Damn, but I want to buy more of this. Because I abuse this a lot. Um, just in case uh, I didn't want to analyze, like... it Sometimes it takes time to uh, analyze, use the spell, unless you use the quartz um, to lower the time. Like uh, right here, I think. Um, is it this one? Oh no, it's this. I should equip her something, but it's okay, I guess. Yeah, there's a there's a quartz that will lower the time. Huh. Forgot what it is, but oh well. There's so many quartz in this game. I hopefully if I remember on the sequel though. All right, so um, we gotta go way up north. We have to go talk to the hermit guy. I don't know. Fix this truck. I don't know. I'm not a mechanic. Oh, I forgot. I can just teleport. You know, just press square or something. I don't know why I was like walking there. Whose turn is it? Yeah, green. Uh, I'm just checking the map just in case uh, if something happened. I was expecting something change, but yeah, this is gonna take a while. So I will see you guys uh, way up there. Um, I will show off if anything happens, like a cutscene or something, so I will see you right over there, so I'll be right back. Alright, um, almost there, well, kind of, so I arrived nearby, so let's see what happens, um, let's see what happens. More monsters? Ooh, this looks really nice. This is a good fishing spot. Yep, it is. You can see the sunlight glimmering on the water. So clean too. This is Lake Lacrima. Lives in that cabin over there. Yeah, by himself. Well, with a... Oh yeah, he does have a truck. Huh. Okay, Alyssa. You see something not right or something? Oh. How beautiful. Yeah, breathtaking. 
Well, the girl's turn to see this. Uh, yeah, I guess no monsters at least. Uh, no treasure chest or anything. But, uh, you know, it's, I think uh, it's a good time for fishing. Uh, my friend told me um, uh, in the sequel, um, when I said that it'll be nice if there's a spot, like a exclamation mark thing or a symbol on the spot if you don't know where to fishing. Um, he said that uh, it's confirmed, of course. Uh, it will, they will add it on the Trials of Cold Steel number 2. So you don't have to go like this around like looking for an exclamation mark on your head. I guess this fishing spot is over there, I guess. There's gotta be a fishing spot. I mean, come on. This is a good place to fish. I'm not really a fishing expert, but... Hold on. Of course, cannot bring the horse. Hold on. Dismount. There you go. Uh, like that. Fishing spot. Man, I'd love to get in a little fishing here. It's my turn. Leave it to no me. one stopping you. Here we go. Oh yeah, let's do it. Right here. See, look at this. Unless if you see a spot, though. Wait, come on. Ooh, this looks like a good spot. There you go. See, like this. Like you have to like go around and look for an exclamation mark. This looks like a nice spot. Or a fishing thing, but. Again, he said, uh, you know, this will be a, like, a good spot. like a blue thing or whatever. I don't know. So, let's do some fishing a little bit. I haven't fished for a while. Uh, I haven't got a rod yet because I have to catch uh, a lot of different fish. Huh. I'll just do this a little bit to remote and then... There. Yep, there's four now. Four buttons. <laughs> Let's do this real quickly. Ah, damn it, almost. There. Salmon! <laughs> that's a catch! Rainbow trout. Nice. Types caught. So I got 6 out of 20. There you go, rank up. Brown angler. Nice. So, do I get a... I... Oh, oh wow. Now I see why. So, I guess I have to go visit the, uh, the guy in the, uh, you know to get a better rod so I can catch more better Pokemon fishing Pokemon I don't know <laughs> two more what there's two I guess it's a crappy fish yep it shows right there caught one Kasagin huh I think I already got that one do one more Oh, whoops. Jeez, I almost forgot. Again? Oh, come on. Not bad. Can I, like, cook this fish or something? I got six ground bait, but I gotta keep going. <laughs> of course, I will do this stuff off screen if I want to platinum this game. Sorry. Uh, I'll leave the horse there. Let's see, um... I think, what, what's up with this? Huh. I guess, oh, that's the, I, I don't know. Wait until Alessa, uh, like, you know. Nice house. Hmm. What the? Wait a minute. Huh. It's like something could be hidden right here, I guess, but never mind. Alright, let's go visit. Knock, knock. Yep. Knock the door. After entering the cabin, the time of day will advance to the evening. All the... Yeah. Yes, knock on the door. I think I should uh, finish everything, right? All the side quests. So, gotta move on. This blind. <laughs> Let's play. Excuse me, anyone home? So I'm in. Come in. Oh, I think she knows someone. I think she recognized that voice. It's her grandpa. Ah, <laughs> no. It's good to see you again, sir. Carefree old man. Isn't guys haven't seen you around for what, half a year now? Damn. 
Uh oh. Five years. Uh oh. Yep, I knew it. Grandfather, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't have to yell at the old man. Come on, Alyssa. I'll give you a proper welcome. Yeah. Gwen Ryanford. Or Ryan, I don't know, Ryan Ford, I just call it. I'm Gwen Ryan Ford, Alyssa's favorite granddad. Yep, Emma. It's an honor. Yep, promising group of young folks. It's ever. <laughs> I'd like. I'd like this man better than the guy walking around all the time in the, you know, back in Thor Academy or something. Five years. Yeah, and she has a big mouth. <laughs> Disappeared from where I... Damn. Continent, seeing friends or visiting the Empire. Damn. Yeah, I guess that's another reason why, uh, you know, the the teacher um, wants to send uh, Alyssa for this task. You know, in this group. Chuck broke down when it did. Arena, huh? <laughs> yep, her mom. Workaholic, yeah, it's just such busy, busy mom. outside a bit while I go grab my tools. Yep, he has the tools. Can you take them over to the settlement when you go? Yeah, no problem. Bring more food and fish. Nice. Former chairman of the rainforest. Yeah, former. Damn. Responsible, damn. As soon as you uh, ready, let's get back. Man, I like it how this story goes. Um, you know, Usus and uh, Marcus, and then now Alyssa and, and Gaius, and then what's next? Uh, what Lara and uh, Lara and um, Fia? I can't wait for that. Or we still haven't known about Elliot and uh, um, Emma yet. Um, man, this is getting good. This is a really long game. Uh, you know, again, um, character development. That's what it's really important. Ooh, nice chess set. Really important for this kind of game and sequels. Really have uh, good uh, character development. I can Here, do this. You know what? Yeah, let's go talk to your grandpa. Oh, it's getting. Yep, it's getting. Dark. I was gonna do more fishing, but we gotta keep going. I'm not even halfway through the game, I bet. I should be like, I don't know, 40% through or something. Or probably less. A couple of years, but all of us in the settlement owe him a lot. Myself included. There he is, got his tools. Good to go. I've just been acting a bit lately, so... 
Yeah. For one more up there. Yeah, you can ride with Gaius or Reen. Do some horseback riding. Yep, Reen. <laughs> it's your future boyfriend? <laughs> no. Grand your grandpa would be so proud of you, Alyssa. Yep. I was a little Sharon doing these days. Yep, the maid. Her she recently started working in your dormitory. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Playing side by her too. <laughs> yeah. Old man in the maiden, huh? <laughs> this guy. Yeah, that's a good question. Oh! She's really a hard worker in great many respects. No doubt about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> she keeps everything bottled up. But anyone that she needs help with a problem. Oh yeah. R from Rower. Yeah, Rainford. That's back then when she didn't want to tell their last name. between us and I don't want that. <laughs> right. To end up that way. Ah. Oh. Between the two of us. Oh. So I didn't tell her where I was. Oh. Ha. <laughs> 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 yep. That's so. Start of the year. Yep. An accident, eh? <laughs> Did you accidentally collide with her on your way to school, causing her to drop the toast to, uh, between her li Ooh. <laughs> Facing position, your yoink. Yep. <laughs> Oops. Really did happen, didn't it? <laughs> he knows. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> this guy. You know, this grandpa. Wow, please. Oh, it's so embarrassing. Yeah, I know, Alyssa, but you know, I can't wait until the sequel. What the? This music. Hey, isn't that? What the? Oh, it's you, White Rabbit, isn't it? Ooh, it's those military academy students. Yeah, and. I wonder what they're doing all the way out here. Field study. Looks like things are gonna start getting interesting. I can't. I. Silver object. What the hell? Yeah, that thing that she flies okay, around. Okay, let's get this mission started. What mission? Sheesh. Gramps and the others can be so unreasonable sometimes. She's so young. 
it's like she's one of these uh from Nintendo hyper dimension kind of thing from uh you know but whatever I need to stop thinking about that <laughs> that's what she looks like and he's busy fix that truck <laughs> I don't know what he's doing when he raises his fingers up like that but that night the people in the settlement had a banquet in the elders house for uh, yeah nice at Norton yeah and th thanks doctor well you know accidents happen I got like 15 minutes but really long cutscene before I had to move on finally oh this is so delicious Dude, I would definitely go there and eat. Nice banquet. Look at that. Here's to you, my friend. And to you. Who's isn't <laughs> going to drink itself? Yeah, drink. Bottoms up. Well, except that I don't know if they can drink. And pour it out in the sticks like this. So the Orbal Revolution to make Rainford, yeah. I like how the guys is over there, and you know, and the girls over there. Yep, the mom took over. Irene, I think. The company was raised. Really sure. Making their name in firearms, such damn. Weapons and railway projects. So I guess basically, uh, the the grandfather guy um, used to make like transportations before, like that, and trucks, and then now weapons now, mass production of weapons. It's crazy. Yeah, company all across the continent, not just domestically. Businessman. Uh, he's gotten old, I guess. Look at him now. He's a picture of health. I guess the old man doesn't doesn't like weapons, and you know, because he's gonna start a war selling all those weapons. <laughs> Going to go out and get a little fresh air. Okay. Ooh, this is a good time, Marine. Ooh, good time, Marine. And yeah, the class president and all. Yeah, she's the smart one, but. Definitely the best man for the job. Yep. <laughs> this is might be an interesting scene here because like while they were those two were talking outside and then like everyone peeking out or uh, peeking from the door. <laughs> <sighs> I'm such an idiot. What am I even doing? There's nothing wrong. Oh, this is her pass. Get that view. Damn. I haven't seen the father yet. Can you get going? We're running behind schedule. Yep, as busy as always. Yeah, I see. Spends more time with the granddad. Oh. Alisa? Damn, this might be a sad episode, a uh, sad video, like oh, Reen. like a drama kind of thing. This is sad. Well, what are you doing out here? Did you eat too much? My mouth says no, but my stomach's thinking yes. <laughs> you doing okay? You seem a bit unsteady there. Nothing like that. I'm just feeling a little out of it. I'm just going to stay out here for a while and get some fresh air. Then I'll be... Whoa! Oh. oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. See? What did I tell you? We've been riding all day. I'm not surprised you're feeling tired. Riding a horse really takes it out of you. 
I guess you're right. Why didn't that occur to me before? Hey, Elisa. Look up at the sky. Huh? Oh, wow! You know, I didn't even notice it last night because we turned in so early. But now that we know, if you're out here to get some air, better to take in the starlight than look at the ground, right? You're right. Um. <laughs> okay. My father was a technician. Eight years ago, he passed away. Oh, damn. My family was never really the same after that. Mother was director of the company back then. She focused all of her energy on making the Reinford group even bigger. She used to treasure our family, but after that, it's like she could barely spare a thought for us. Oh. She did seem like a talented businesswoman when we met her. Well, more than talented to run the Reinford group. What you saw in River Station was just a watered-down version of her normal intensity. We'd be able to have dinner together maybe once every three months, and that's being generous. But at least I wasn't alone. Grandfather and Sharon were always there for me. That's how it was, huh? I guess you've known Sharon for a long time then. Yeah, my mother hired her about seven years ago. Hmm. Being a Reinford and all, I never had many people I could really call friends when I was young. The nobles looked down on me, of course, but the common people treated me like I was different from them, too. At least with my grandfather and Sharon around, I never felt totally alone. Grandfather introduced me to all kinds of different hobbies, like horseback riding and playing the violin. Yep. Sharon taught me self-defense and archery, and all the high society etiquette expected of a lady. Huh. Wait a minute. Meanwhile, my mother kept expanding the company completely against the wishes of my grandfather, the chairman. Yeah. I see. Though, hasn't Reinford always been a big industrial company? Kind of, yeah. Even back then, they took on projects in all fields, from steel mills to railway construction to guns and tanks. Yeah. It's not surprising there are people out there who like to call the company a merchant of death. Yeah, that's the thing why the grandfather doesn't like that. I can't say I completely agree with that side of the company, but I've never felt embarrassed or ashamed about it. But a few years ago, the Reinford group finally went too far. Damn. What do you mean? Those two railway guns set up in Gorelia Fortress on the eastern edge of the Empire? You know about those, right? Huh. Yeah, I've heard of them. Railway guns. Hey, isn't that... Yeah, that's the thing in the beginning when we're trying to stop those things. Man, I hate it when they had to, you know, start out like that. Why can't we just start in the beginning instead of, like, right there? If you watch uh, part one of the video. They're supposed to have the longest range of any orbital cannon in the world. Wow. I've only seen their spec sheets, but the destruction they're capable of is terrifying. Erebonia's still fighting with Calvert over Crossbell, and those guns are capable of targeting any point in Crossbell State. Damn. In just a couple hours, they could wipe Crossbell City and its 500,000 citizens off the map. No way. That's way beyond being a weapon of war. More like an instrument of massacre. Yeah, true. I couldn't agree more. And neither could my grandfather, who supervised their construction. Even though my mother was the one who signed off on the project, my grandfather regretted it like the decision was his. Uh. As he was hesitating over whether to hand them over to the Imperial Army, my mother betrayed him. Oh, uh, what? That what? sucks. She went behind his back and secured the support of all of Reinford's major shareholders. Everyone from Ruwer's ruling Lord Marquis Rogner to the top brass of the Imperial Army was on her side. In the face of such overwhelming pressure from all sides, my grandfather was forced to capitulate. He stepped down as chairman and my mother wasted no time taking his place. 
Damn, Reen. That... sorry. That's when my grandfather decided to leave the company entirely. And me. Yeah. I thought I'd at least have Sharon on my side, but she just did whatever my mother told her to do. Uh, I see. It's been five years since then already. Oh. Damn. I think I get it now. Why she gets under your skin, I mean. It's not so much what your mother did, but how it ended up tearing your family apart. I don't know how her father passed away. Yeah. I couldn't believe my mother would betray her own father. I couldn't believe grandfather would take it without fighting back. I couldn't believe Sharon, who'd always supported me, watched it all happen without a word of protest. It really drove it home to me. How big the Reinford group was now, and how small I was. I hated realizing it had become so large that corporate interests were stronger than family ties. Looking back, I guess that's when I decided I'd leave home and enroll in the academy. <laughs> Even when I ran, I couldn't go far enough to escape my mother's shadow. Or the Reinford name. Then I come here and find my grandfather happily enjoying a whole new life without a care in the world. Mm -hmm. When I stepped outside, I was feeling so lost, so frustrated. Wondering what I'd been doing all this time. But it's kind of strange, you know? I look up at the stars and it feels like I can escape the gravity of everything. I think I'm finally starting to understand why my grandfather chose to leave it all behind and move out here in the first place. Yep. <laughs> you really are strong, Elisa. Stronger than you realize. You were finally ready to talk about it. About your family and the company and everything. So, maybe you've found what you were looking for to move past that, right? <laughs> maybe you're right. But I don't think I would have been able to if I hadn't enrolled at the academy. Meeting everyone in class 7, the lacrosse club, you... I'm a better person for it. Your support has already made a difference. So... Thanks. Thanks for worrying about me. And thanks for reminding me to look up, not down. <laughs> Anytime. Though, truth be told, I came to check on you because Emma asked me to. Duh. Sorry to ruin the moment. <laughs> I thought that might be the case. Oh well, there's always next time. Yep. It's kind of strange to hear you tell me I'm strong, because I could say the same thing about you. You always seem to get thrust into the role of leader, someone we can count on to keep us on track. Oh, yep. <laughs> I guess running errands on all my free days is really helping me buckle down. Still, I feel like I've got a long way to go. Oh, yeah. No joke. Especially when I keep running from myself. Huh? Remember back in Keldic? I said that I came to the Academy to find myself. But sometimes, I wonder if maybe I just wanted to get away. Yeah, his own past. From my family? From myself? Oh. Do you... not get along well with your family? Oh, I do. I'm not their real son, but my parents always loved me like I was. Damn. My sister and I... We've had our differences, especially lately, but we still get along pretty well. No, the problem's just with me. Reen. <laughs> still, I suppose the fact you were finally ready to talk about it means that maybe you found what you were looking for to move past that, right? <laughs> Who'd have thought I'd have the chance to feed you your own good advice so soon? I can't believe you can just say things like that with a straight face. Maybe being on the receiving end every now and then will do you some good. <laughs> Alright, you got me. I admit defeat. But yeah, I guess I'm starting to figure things out. It might Maybe enrolling at Thoris was the oh, first oops. thing I'd done right in a long time. I ended up in class 7. Oh yeah. 
And now, all of us are out here like this, spending time together. Yeah, I like that. I hope the things we learn during our field studies can help us all make a difference in the world. So... Wait, all of us? Huh. <laughs> Music stops. Alright, so I'm gonna end the video right now because this is really long and we'll see what happens after that. Sorry, I apologize. So, this is Ray on Trials of Cold Steel. Next time, uh, man, this is a sad episode, uh, sad video, so of course, uh, it's gotta be like a pink number, of course, uh, but you know, just check out the, uh, my channel description in the about thing in my channel and you can see the, uh, the, the color coded numbers. So, anyways, um, Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys enjoy this and goodbye.